Yowski, so we go from cardboard stuff to danger zone, mains electricity and things. You know, I do not really understand the meaning of the word boredom anymore, but I do understand the meaning of the word context, which is why we are starting with uh, the thing you are already seeing, which is a cheapo, El cheapo mattress pump. Uh, let's see, you know, electric pump, supposedly double insulated, yeah, sure, and by cheap I mean like uh, 10 freedom bucks or whatever. Now, the context here is that this has never seen a mattress, an air mattress, and we will never see one. This dates back from 2022, back when I had this, uh, you know, it's, an, it's a virus, you can get it when you're in a certain circumstances. I've tried to convert a drill press into a milling machine. Yes, it's very stupid and quite dangerous, uh, as in, you know, eyeball remover, widow maker sort of stuff. But I actually succeeded, and uh, I still believe that why it actually works is not because of my uh, attempts, uh, feeble one, but a lot of them at uh, rigidifying, making it more rigid, you know, like <laughs> not just in the up down axis but also the left right stuff which is the main difference between a drill press and a milling machine in any case yes so swarf removal the chips uh, making uh, the drill bit not get stuck with all the stuff that it's trying to remove and this is why i've got the mattress air pump because it sounded like a possible solution and yeah i mean it it works now as you can see this has already been properly hacked uh, even literally, literally, so I've removed the child protection, so there was a piece of plastic here in the output and in the intake, it's no longer there, you can stuff your finger there, which I wouldn't uh, recommend, and yeah, you know, kind of a filter, it's a medical gauze, just a single layer, I've replaced it because I've been using this pump quite a, maybe not a lot, but enough to know that it works, and another last hack, uh, hockey tape, because, you know, this thing is a mattress pump. It's supposed to stick it in a mattress and then it doesn't matter whether it shakes around or tries to move. It's uh, going to do its job. For my use case, where you need to point the airflow at a specific point, well, if it is uh, running away, which uh, it tends to, it's not really good. But in any case, um, the... I will put a video of the Dremel hack because I did a video like a proof to myself for the future that uh, it actually works though I wouldn't be you know, like telling you any more about that because again it's a stupid idea and a dangerous idea a drill press is a not a milling machine and you shouldn't be trying to make the first one into the other one anyways as uh, you know time passes the original application of that had uh, just a random garden hose glued into one of those adapters that you get with the thing. Uh, I've upgraded this year to Loctite, well Lockline, sorry, not Loctite, Lockline. And uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it makes me feel like a machinist. It's a really cool stuff, again, worth the money. And as you can see, you just uh, add this here and then you can point the air output wherever you want now the thing about this stuff moving and the fact that with much uh, smaller diameter of this is that as you have uh, perhaps already perceived this only has uh, two modes off mode and an on mode and when it goes on it freaking flies away so I was thinking, can I, you know, regulate the RPM, the speed of it, because that should correlate directly to the airflow and the vibration and all of the stuff. And, you know, I thought, well, there's definitely an AC motor in there. It's uh, so cheap that there cannot be anything fancy in that. And, uh, you know, it's uh, like a dimmer, trimmer. Uh, AC motor controller, basically a triac and some basic uh, uh, electronicals around it. And that's how the idea has been born, to make a, an AC top box, which this video is actually about. And I'm quite pleased with the physicality of it. And uh, it worked more than once, though I haven't used it in practice uh, 
uh, at all. And uh, yeah, let's talk about the outsides of it. This is, uh, well, <laughs> it's not powered, so you know, it's safe. So we have the input. Uh, there's no grounding in the in this, but then again, the pump also doesn't have any grounding, so I was fine with that. You have the output and uh, the main knob that does the job of going from low to high. Then those two meters, um, that's a voltmeter of the output and the amp meter of the output, just uh, because I could and then because I wanted to know if this is actually doing anything uh, yeah because the actual part that's the most important thing the thing that does the job the trimmer board it's an off-the-shelf component and I'm still kind of sad that I didn't realize at the time I bought it for like five bucks five bucks and it came with a sheet metal enclosure which just tells you that it cannot be any good and and surprise surprise it wasn't it actually broke down while I was still designing this and making this and I was really really hoping that it was something that I have did, some stupidity on my side. No, just something broke and it's like all the time high, so I assume the triac got just fried closed and it's just, you know, like outputting all the time. And in any case, um, given that we have here the thing, I've bought uh, another one, well, I actually, you know, like when I was buying this, this was so cheap, I bought two of them. So I just replaced it with the second one, but right now I've ordered and already have three other ones, including one that's uh, like uh, 30 bucks or 50 bucks, you know, like much more expensive big thing that maybe actually can do its job. But yeah. And uh, yeah, I mean, like, I like the lettering, the box itself, um, it's a project box. And yeah, I've added some nice fit to it, and uh, visually, I'm really pleased with that. But as you should know, if you've watched more than one of my videos, I'm really about stuff working, not looking pretty. I mean, I leave that for the artists. So I guess this leaves us with uh, actually trying and seeing if it blows up. Well, hopefully not. And uh, yeah, so uh, the pump and well, la bomba, it's here. Let's plug it in. I am gonna add this just for the kicks and fun. And don't worry, if it works, <laughs> you're gonna be hearing that it works. It's, it's extremely loud. And uh, here the business end. And yeah, let's keep it in the middle. Let's uh, see, well. <laughs> okay. Now, if you see the reading and you're wondering what uh, is going on? Remember, unloaded stuff always gives you not the real reading. Uh, in case of this system, there's probably cap well, there are definitely capacitors. I know I've been inside this box, and you hopefully will be too very soon. But uh, yeah, let's uh, power on this thing. Uh, yeah, you see, you can make it. Uh, Relatively gentle, or... Positive lift-off. And the motor here, I have no idea what kind of motor is inside that, but it's rather unhappy where there's not enough of the sine wave present. So, yeah, which is why I try to start it at the middle position. And yeah, as you can see, it actually moves around. Anyways, at the proof, at least at this point, this stuff is uh, working as intended. So yeah, that's the main thing of it. And uh, this being a dimmer, trimmer, a triac uh, uh, sine wave chopper, it's not limited to just the motors, a light bulb, if you have an incandescent one, will work just as well. I've tried it when I was uh, while, you know, designing the, the stuff uh, with a proper hair dryer. So that hair dryer actually goes over a one 
a kilowatt and so this stuff was actually working properly which is nice to know and that's even though the again the dimming well the trimmer the triac circuit here is extremely crappy it's probably not gonna live long but i have other ones will probably be able to replace that all right we're fine so let's power this off it should actually not have much well the technical term that it should have bleed off resistors for all the capacitors and stuff but you know i don't like being shocked and uh, and yeah so let's do this let's get the stuff that's no longer patient to what we're trying to do out of the way but you know uh, keeping stuff tidy is nice so off they go so yeah i actually wanted to go and show you what's inside the magic box but to be honest there's uh, well, there's no requirement but i was still gonna say that this is mains voltage it doesn't matter whether you like in europe with uh, 230 or in the us when with 110 or whatever mains voltage can kill you it will kill you there's no mercy there so if you do not actually understand the dangers and what you're doing please do not do it i mean unless you want to have a darwin award in which case i'll eat popcorn and laugh at your grave you know this sort of stuff you know hopefully this uh, suffices as a warning that this stuff can kill you that's that's what it is so yeah with that out let's uh, get inside uh, of it by removing the top cover as you can see i've came prepared Alright, machines, they make our lives easier. Alright, great reveal. Okay, I guess that has to suffice. So again, off the shelf, um, Triac module, modified because the heatsink was extended this way by a couple of centimeters, wouldn't fit. Chopping this stuff off was a chore, pretty awful, but I can share with you that this being aluminum or aluminium uh, using a wire cutter, but the proper Nipex wire cutter and nibbling it out was actually the best method and I've done it twice. So I've gone over at least half a dozen ways of trying to deal with that. So I don't know if you want to trust me, trust me. Now, what you see here is the amp meter module and the voltmeter module. <laughs> and, and it, you know, it is funny in hindsight, but each of those is more expensive than this thing. They are like uh, 15 bucks, 20 bucks a piece. And this is like <laughs> $5. Anyways, this just shows, you know, like the... I didn't realize it at the time, but... Anyways, the wiring, you know, handmade, but with proper ferrules, ferrules. I'm actually getting into trying to do my electricals better because, you know, we have the tools, we have the um, solutions to things like that. So properly crimped ones. And yeah, all the connections, bus bars, really. Uh, Vago, Wago, it's really more like Vago, but these are clones anyway. They're neither here nor there, they do their job, so I'm not complaining. And yeah, and, you know, uh, some strain relief for the cables. There's another one there, but I can barely see it, which means you cannot at all. Now the voltmeter, obviously it's connected and it has like, it's power connection, it's metering connection. So it's just connected on the output of the module. The amp meter on the other hand has a separate uh, power connection. And then the metering is done with this giant coil in here, which is on the uh, output of the thing the input well the, the power is obviously connected at the input side so we do not regulate 
the power regulation doesn't impact the power for the amp meter. And yeah, I mean, as simple as it is, you still need to wire it and pretty much fit it in. So another thing that was pretty labor intensive was, as you can see, this is like a generic project box, uh, fuse box, whatever. And it has those mounting posts and there were three more here which were interfering with this chunky boy. So I had to dremel them out and also another one here, here. It was kind of interesting, so for dremeling in such tight spaces, an angle adapter is actually a must-have. So, you know, you're not trying to do it this way, you're trying to do it uh, this way. <laughs> you know, if my finger wiggling actually tells you uh, anything, but hopefully that's, again, I'm not telling you how to, I'm just showing you what I've made and hopefully inspiring some of you or all of you, <laughs> preferably to do stuff and put it on the internet and share because that's really fun and it makes life a much nicer experience but yeah and uh, what i would say i mean the, the point with those um, quick connects is that it's much nicer to work it's easier to prototype it and then you can always dismantle it and the only things that are permanent are the holes you've drilled for the things which is to me it's uh, part of the modularity okay now let me try get this back surprisingly easy together because it's a pretty tight space and that's another thing that makes me laugh a bit is that you know you look at this box you look at the components when they are just like lying around and yes i will put some photos uh, maybe uh, or whatever the point is that you think that this box is like so huge with those like small things and then when you start putting it together apparently it's barely fitting it is another example of reality versus imagination when <laughs> the reality always wins anyways let's put it back together and see again if it works <laughs> i mean if you're having the vibe that i'm not trusting my own things well kind of maybe a bit that's mostly because this module domain, the triac stuff, is so crappy that I'm pretty much expecting it, expecting it not to leave very long or even have a single proper application for the swarf removal. But, as usual, we'll see. Though I must, though I must say that the box itself Pretty good quality, not a cheap one, but there are proper brass inserts, which you should have seen. It has uh, space and it actually came with uh, gasket um, stuff and that's a good box. And you could make it, I think, watertight enough to have it outside. That's what I'm trying to say. And I'm sure some people will love the mounting posts, it's just not me. Or rather, it's not my application. Yeah, not too tight, not too loose. Should be fine, okay. <laughs> Final test. Um, this time, do not bother with the line. We're at the middle point. It should work. <laughs> Famous last words. Okay, that looks more or less fine. Ah, oh, you know, close your ears. satisfied enough though you've seen this kind of dimming out 
you know, everything is so difficult. <laughs> well, then again, it makes stuff fun. So, so yeah, AC top box, another project of mine. Uh, seems to be generally working with the weakest link being the <laughs> most important part of it. But hey, as I said, I have a couple of spares. Uh, oh, apologies, which should be of better quality. So perhaps, uh, well, we'll see in uh, practical usage. And there's still the problem of the pump moving around. But then again, uh, if it's going to be running on lower, maybe it will just uh, stay in place. All right. Thank you for uh, spending 20 minutes with me. I hope this was, as usual, inspiring. And again, you know, like, uh, if you want to do stuff with mains, just you have to understand, not just learn, not just know stuff, just understand what are the dangers, what are the important things, how the stuff works, why there are two wires, even though they tell you it doesn't matter which way you plug it in, which is both true, but actually untrue etc etc and yeah uh, i will add some pictures and stuff maybe maybe in the video or after the video uh, in any case i hope you've enjoyed uh, this little demo and that uh, you will help the inspiration flow thank you have a good day night and bye Nice.